U.S. Nature for Climate logo. Aerial views of a body of water surrounded by lush green trees. Several leafless trees poke out from the water. A man walks on a trail alongside the water. The sun shines brightly over the treetops. The man looks at his surroundings. Text. Gabriel Von Prague, Civilian Climate Corp Fellow Mano Project. Gabriel addresses the camera. The beauty of nature is its ability to adapt and evolve. It kind of gives nature agency. Unfortunately, with climate change, nature is struggling to keep up. I got involved in the climate change field because for my generation, I don't see it as a threat of the future. I see it as a threat of the now. An aerial view of a field with trees in the distance. Gabriel walks with a woman on a trail in the field. They talk and laugh together. Gabriel addresses the camera. I am Gabriel Van Prague. I'm a Civilian Climate Corp Fellow with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in partnership with the Mano Project. The Hispanic Access Foundation created the Mano Project to increase opportunity and access for Hispanic youth and young people of color in the conservation field. The woman talks and gestures to Gabriel. Text, Michelle Nguyen Schwander, Mano Project Director, Hispanic Access Foundation. Michelle addresses the camera. Michelle and Gabriel observe the flora in the field. A moth rests on a pink flower. Trucks drive on a roadway. Climate change affects the most underrepresented communities, and many times those communities aren't invited to the table to share their experiences and to plan for the future. The Mono Project partners with federal land management agencies to ensure that people of color are represented in these spaces. Aerial views of the field and trees. Text. Big Oaks National Wildlife Refuge, Madison, Indiana. Views of the forest, wetlands, and grasslands. Gabriel addresses the camera. With U.S. Fish and Wildlife, I work at Big Oaks National Wildlife Refuge in southeastern Indiana. This landscapes, forests, wetlands, and grasslands mitigate climate change by sequestering and storing carbon. Gabriel walks with three other people along a trail in the field. Text, Cassandra Carson, Refuge Biologist, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Cassandra holds a small bucket under Gabriel's hands as he collects seeds. They work together to collect specimens in a stream. Water rushes among yellow wildflowers. This is a natural climate solution. I work with refuge biologist Cassandra Carson to enhance the biodiversity of our landscapes. We do things like seed collecting and manage for diverse wildlife species. Gabriel stands in the forest and looks up towards the sky. Sunlight shines through the leaves of the trees. Gabriel and Cassandra hold a small turtle in their hands. A hand holds the turtle between its thumb and forefinger as the turtle kicks its legs in the air. Tree branches display reddish-brown and green leaves. Gabriel addresses the camera. I'm also looking at the big picture, assessing how climate change will impact big oaks in the long-term future. And based on that, we can rethink management techniques so nature can remain resilient and healthy. The Mano Project gave me the opportunity to be on the leading edge of the fight for climate adaptation. Michelle and Gabriel walk and talk together in the field. Michelle addresses the camera. Gabriel and Michelle use binoculars to observe trees in the distance. By mentoring these young, passionate people, we are developing leaders of color and expanding the conservation workforce, which will allow for new ideas to fight climate change. Gabriel addresses the camera. He walks in the forest. The sun shines through the trees and on the flora in the grasslands. Gabriel stands on a dock and looks out over the water. I hope to keep working in this field for the rest of my life. I really hope that I can reduce climate change, but also make the process equitable and just. Eventually, climate change will affect all of us because climate change doesn't discriminate. We need to prepare for ecosystems. We shouldn't only do this for ourselves, but for those that are going to come after us. U.S. Nature for Climate logo. Text on screen. See all the ways that nature can help fight climate change at usnatureforclimate.org. Special thanks. Big Oaks National Wildlife Refuge, Hispanic Access Foundation, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. To learn more about Mano Project, visit manoproject.org.